Hi, my name is Luis Perez Garcia. The recipe I used for my brewing project was Caribou Slobber Brown Ale from Northern Brewers. This is my beer label. I decided to name it Lulo Beers because my first name is Luis and my wife's middle name is Lorraine. I really wanted my label to look professional as if I was going to do this as a career. So, if I was to have a brewery, it will be called Lulu Beers. I added a few details to the label. On the right, we have when I bottled the beers, and usually, beers have a lifespan of about a year. So I bottled my beers on June 17, 2020, and gave it a best before date was June 18, 2021. As you can see, it is not an expiration date, since it could last more than a year. We're just saying that the best flavor will be up to that date. On the bottom, we have the beer volume for 12 ounce bottles in milliliters, which comes up to 355 milliliters. The alcohol by volume was obtained from brewersfriend.com, which it comes out to be to 4.8% alcohol by volume. On the left side, there are just a few extra things that I added to complement the label. It reads, on the top, at Lulu Beers, we pride ourselves on handcrafting full of flavor and character beers. We are an exclusive home brewery. We're just a couple who loves a good beer and want to share it with friends and family. Of course, we're locally brewed in Miami, Florida. And at Lulu, we carefully select the recipes we brew to satisfy our palate, made at home. And it's just simply delicious. So let's talk about brown ale. Brown ale originated in England and it is considered a bona fide beer classic. The English style brown ale is one of the most iconic beer styles. The American style tends to be a little more hoppy and bitter than its English counterparts. In general, both styles offer robust toasted nut and malt flavors with chocolate and caramel characters. Either variation goes excellent with different types of food, but they're also great to enjoy on their own. They definitely create memorable food pairings. The alcohol content does not exceed 5.5% 5, 5 .5 with our Caribou Slobber having about 4.6%. Our Caribou Slobber American Brown Ale has all the good stuff from its English parents, plus a low to medium hop flavor and aroma with medium to high hop bitterness. However, as you drink the beer, the bitterness is well balanced with the sweetness and chocolate flavors. Let's do a quick review on Caribou Slobber. Its color, it's deep brown, with a clear clarity. Of course, because of its dark color, you cannot see through it, but it is not hazy. It has a large foamy head, creamy light brown in color, that lasts about 30 seconds, with medium carbonation that disappears halfway through drinking it. The aroma is sweet and malty, with mild hoppiness. Its flavor is definitely sweet and bitter, in which you can taste the chocolate caramel and malt characters. The hop bitterness perfectly balances the sweet flavors. It has a light to medium body, filled with no astringency. It has a medium finish that lasts about 8 seconds. Because it is a brown ale, it goes great with grilled meat and vegetables, fish, which I have personally tried, with cough. Amazing combination. The fish actually reduces the bitterness and lets you taste the malt and chocolate notes. Sausage is also an option, and chocolate, which I've also tried. The hops help accentuate the chocolate flavor, and it feels like if you're eating chocolate cake. 
The recipe from Northern Brewer comes with steeping grains, Northern Brewer gold malt extract, 10.5 grams of Willamette hops, which are divided in 7.5 grams of hops at the beginning of the brew for flavor and 3 grams at the end of the brew for aroma. Willamette is the king of aroma in the world of hops. It provides a spicy floral and fruity fragrance to beers. Willamette hops are great from English style ales and brown ales including our American caribou slobber. It also comes with English ale dry yeast and fizz drops for carbonations. The fizz drops are a small caramel-like candy that is dropped inside the bottle and it helps with carbonation after bottling. Overall, the brewing experience was great. I am really happy I took this class. I will definitely continue brewing. This beer, the first one that I made, had an awesome flavor. It had this complication while I was brewing, but in general, I am very satisfied. It's a beer that I will definitely keep drinking, and I want to keep trying other styles. I've already lined up like five or six recipes that I want to get, and I'm ready to keep brewing. Thank you, Professor. It was a great experience.